Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to the Saving Made Simple channel. My name is Bella and I am a 30 year old single mother from Ontario, Canada. I have been cash budgeting now for almost 11 months and I've been loving every minute of it. It's changed my life. Uh, so today I'll be cash stuffing my paycheck, but before I do, I just wanted to take a quick minute to plug my newest Halloween themed video on my second channel. Um, I don't really talk about my second channel like ever, but I've decided that I just, I don't know, I'm really proud of this one, so I just wanted to share it. Um, so about for, for about the past three years, um, around this time, I've been carving some of my favorite YouTubers into pumpkins. In the past, I've done TFIL, Sam and Colby, and not YouTubers, but the Sanderson sisters from Hocus Pocus. And this year I carved Selena Spooky Boo and Call Me Chris. So if you want to go check out that video, feel free to leave a suggestion for what who I should carve next year if you would like. I actually do have one pumpkin left and that is actually a big reason why I'm, I'm mentioning it is because I have no idea who to carve into it. And it's going to go bad, so I want to carve it. Um, but I have no idea who. I've, I've thought about it and thought about it and I, I don't know. Um, I really like paranormal channels, so like I said, I like TFIL, Sam and Colby. I was thinking about maybe doing um, Mind Seed because it's only the two guys now. It used to be three, now it's down to two, and I feel like that might be an option. But I also know that not everybody knows who that one is. Um, I don't know. If you have any suggestions, like I said, feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, either for this video or that one if you choose to go see it. I will leave the link in the description below. Alright, you guys are here for the whole cash stuffing thing, so let's do that. Alright, so first and foremost, I am cash stuffing what's supposed to be 810 today. Um, so we're going to get started um, with a cash count. So, we've got... So I'll say that we got 51, 52, 53, 54, 50. So we got 450, 470, 90, 510, 30, 50, 70, 90, 610, 630, 650, 670, 690, 710, 730, 740, 550, 560, 570, 5, 80, 5, 95, 800, 5, 10. Alright, it's a lot of numbers. This is one of the biggest cash stuffings I've done in a really long time. And it's only this, this size because I just had the child bonus on the 20th. And I paid for everything that needed to be paid for, for like my son and everything with that. So... And plus, because my babysitter um, didn't, I didn't need my babysitter for a week last last pay period, so that made life a little easier too. As you can see, if anyone watched my um, budget breakdown, I did manage to get a ten. I um, I, I took uh, some money to Morton's and I I got a ten. So I'm going to put these over here just so that I've got some space. We're gonna start with my expenses binder. So, we're gonna start with that. All right, in groceries, we're gonna do our normal 150. So we got 50, one, 20, 40, five, and 50. Aside from needing to stock up the pantry a little bit, I don't really need anything extra, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Then in gas, I've budgeted 180, so we did 51, 20, 40, 60, 80. And the reason for that one being a little higher this time is that my son has an out of town appointment with the pediatrician this pay period. So it's uh, gonna be a little bit of a hike. Um, then in kiddo, I budgeted 20. And that is just in case he decides he wants something. Christmas is coming up. And I know that as we're walking through the store, he's going to be finding stuff he wants. And, you know, within reason, I don't mind getting him something, especially if I'm prepared for it. <clears throat> Fun, I didn't budget because dining out, I budgeted 75 because my son and I are going to go on a mama-son mama date um, this weekend. We're going to go 
to my hometown and we're gonna go to Eastside Mario's. And actually it's funny, he went to school the one day last week and told everyone that that's what we were doing that night. So when I went to go pick him up, um, one, of the, one of the guys at the after school program came up to me and said, hey, so I hear you guys are going to, uh, going out for dinner and going to a movie. And I'm like, we're actually not, but if that's really what he wants to do, then maybe I will surprise him with that. So that's where I got the idea. All right, and then for pets, my mom and I both decided we were gonna put 15 each in for cat food because the dog is taken care of for now. So we got 15 in there. <clears throat> in beauty, um, I'm just trying to restock my um, my funds because I, I did the, the shampoo, the conditioner, the body wash. I also replaced my son's toothpaste and mouthwash. So we're gonna need to start being ready for that. So I've got $30 in there, which I usually consider fully funded. Personal, I've budgeted $30. I don't really have any specific reason why. Um, I just haven't really budgeted anything for myself in a little while. And so I'm just gonna, you know, especially when all of the like Halloween treats are on sale, I'd like to stock up on some stuff for lunches and stuff, and I don't want to include that in my grocery budget. So that, and then medical, I'm going to end going to be adding ten dollars because I again want it to be fully stocked at thirty, which sorry, fully funded at thirty. <clears throat> All right, so now we're going to move on to the sinking funds. So we're going to start with. Emergency, we are not stuffing because it has reached its $1,000 fund. And then we've got my car fund, which I will be adding $50 to today. <clears throat> we'll do a little count and see where we're at. So <clears throat> we've got 51, 52, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 25, 35, 40, 5, 50, 5, 60. So that's 1,460. I forgot what I counted. I had to look. So that's what we're at in car fund, 1,460, which isn't too bad. Um, then in vet, I am going to be adding $50 as well. Um, this fund was, I wouldn't say depleted, but um, we recently had an issue. I'm sure that you guys have probably already heard that my, my, my old puppy, my 13 year old chocolate lab, we had to put her to sleep. Um, that's one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to have this kind of fund is when something like that comes up, the last thing you want to do is think, oh my gosh, I can't. Already it's hard enough to process doing it without having to think about the money part of it. But yeah, anyway, gifts. I gotta move on from that. So um, we're gonna come back. No, we'll just do it now. Okay, so for gifts, the reason why I'm budgeting so much for gifts is because my sister has a birthday at the end of November. My niece has a birthday right before Christmas, then we have Christmas, and then my son has a birthday. So since this is actually just gifts in general, I've got to stock it for everything. So we're going to be adding 80 today. So we got 50, 75, and 80. So we'll put that there and there and there and then we'll do a quick count so we've got 51 52 53 20 40 60 84 20 40 60 85 25 35 40 is that what i that was that right 
51, 52, 53, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 25, 35, 45. Okay, yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> and that's going to probably be less next time I see you because I already know what I want to get my sister for her birthday. So I might just go ham um, and do that. But I don't know. We'll see. Uh, and then for vacay, I have started... I've started saving for my next um, trip, although I haven't fully started planning my next trip yet. So there's $100 in there. We'll put that aside. And then, like I said, I told you guys that my biggest goal is right now to fill this by the end of the year. This is my 100 envelope challenge. Um, and I've decided to stuff $70 <clears throat> today because I really want to fill this challenge. I want to finish this challenge on time. It's very important to me. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. So I need envelope number 50, 55 for the um, no, okay. Okay, well, we're going to use number 57 for the 10. This one's pretty cool. I don't know why. It's making me think of some sort of a wallpaper that we must have had in the house when I was growing up, but I can't really think of where. But it's, for some reason, taking me back to my childhood, so. <laughs> anyway, got that one. We'll put that in. Oh, 55, 54, 56. Okay. Okay. Yep, hold on a minute. These are out of order. That's why I was very lost. All right, and then 57. Ha, figured that out. Okay, I'm going to quickly color the 10. Okay, then we got two 20s, and we left off with number 90, which was sealed upside down because that's just kind of the thing I do. So we're going for numbers 90s, 91, 92, and 93. Two, three. All right, so number 91 is Phases of the Moon. Number 92. <clears throat> um, this one reminds me of the movie Forever Young. There's a part where Elijah Wood's character, Nat, is in the library, and he's talking to the girl he likes, and she, he goes, I like your dress. It looks like wallpaper, and I don't know why. Every time I see this print, I think of that. Nice dress. Thanks. Looks like wallpaper. I mean, good wallpaper. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Um, and then we got some stars. And that's number 93, number 92, number 91. Okay, so we're going to stuff these with some 20s. Sometimes they don't open very well. <laughs> there we go. One. Two. And three. <clears throat> I did the math really quickly and basically I'll need to stuff like $100 every paycheck in order to fill this by the end of the year. But I also didn't factor in at that point like the GST, which I, I don't think we get again this year. Um, the child tax, which I get every month. Um, the Trillium, which I get every month. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I can make it work. But we'll see. All right. So we've now filled what we can for that. We have now filled both of my binders and I believe that's all. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Sorry, I was petting the cat. <laughs> I was petting the cat so I couldn't do the thumbs up. Anyway, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys um, in probably two weeks when I do my next, um, cycle of, uh, unstuffing, budgeting, and cash stuffing. Thanks again. Bye.